Our other top story, Ford resumes production in Flat Rock tomorrow, as hundreds of homes are still under evacuation orders because of a gas leak by that plant. Victor Williams went to Flat Rock today, and he has more tonight on what Ford is doing now to try to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. With the Ford Flat Rock assembly plant officially slated to return to production in just a few hours, many residents have a pretty optimistic outlook on the entire situation. It's probably not the safest thing to do, but people got to do what they got to do. It's been an absolute roller coaster for the many residents living in the city limits of Flat Rock, dealing with the benzene chemical leak in the past few weeks. But residents like Michael Goudreau believe the Ford Flat Rock assembly plant returning to production Monday is at least a step in the right direction. They need to. I mean, they make cars, people have jobs, business needs to keep going. The plant's safe, they say, so yeah, let it go. In a press release sent out by Ford, it's been revealed the company has been testing the air quality ever since they became aware of the gasoline leak, a process that will continue once production is back underway. I'm sure they've done everything in the best of safety to make sure this issue is taken care of. And while some residents chose to evacuate their homes for a short period of time, everyone we spoke to believes that Ford and Flat Rock City officials are being totally transparent. No, we're good right now. We will, if something is wrong, they will let us know. The city is very good on top of this right now. Mistakes happen. It's horrible, yes. Thank God nobody was actually hurt. I think Ford is being transparent. The mayor is doing what he can. And we're also told that the Ford assembly plant has now replaced all its underground piping with above ground gasoline piping that has officially been approved by the Licensing and Regulatory Affairs Underground Storage Tank Division. In Flat Rock, Victor Williams, Local 4.